Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're reacting to my queen, my goddess, my end-all, be all, the one, the only, Miss Kelly Clarkson, and her latest holiday song, her latest Christmas song that she released, like, an hour ago, at least as of recording this. Um... It's been a hot minute since I've reacted to Kelly on this channel. I, I've got so much to catch up on. There's so many Kelly Okies that you guys have recommended. Like, I just, I haven't sat down and recorded, just straight recorded in a while. I haven't done it a lot since I started streaming on Twitch. So a lot of the stuff I do is I'll just stream it on Twitch and then I'll just edit it and post it on YouTube. So I haven't like sat down and recorded something in quite some time, but I'm like, you know what? This came out today. I'm not streaming on Twitch for another couple days. So I'm like, you know what? Let me let me dive into this. Let me dive into this now, and so I can do the things of the things. So it is a song called "You for Christmas." I know nothing about it. I don't know if this is upbeat. I don't know if it is a ballad. I don't know if it's mid tempo. I don't know if it's a collaboration. I know nothing about it. I just saw the announcement for it a couple days ago, and my friend David sent me a text, and I was like, oh, okay, fun. I think it's interesting timing to re be releasing Christmas song. Like it's the end of September. I feel like most people know Christmas doesn't start until Halloween is finished. Um, but maybe we're trying to get enough, like you know, garner attention and you know a bunch of listens throughout September. So once Christmas season starts, it'll be like all over the radios. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But we're gonna dive in and just see what this song is all about. How much time you got? Come on, background vocals. Ooh, come on, background vocals. I love these background vocals. Okay, come on, modulation. She said, you thought I was belted before. Ha <laughs> ha, key change. Okay, vocals. Okay, I really like the musical arrangement, like the instrumentation of this. It's giving me this sort of, I don't know if Motown is the right era, I want to say, but I don't know, sort of 
it feels very throwback. Maybe 50s, 60s, maybe Motown is the era I'm trying to think of. But like, there's just something about it where I'm like, hmm, hey, hey. Yeah, so like, I love that aspect of it. And obviously her vocals are great. Her vocals are, I mean, she's she's incredible. And like, I feel like she showed up, she showed up in the studio this day like, okay, we are going to sing, but we're not just going to sing. We're just, go we're going to start out at like eight. We're going to start at like a vocal eight and then we're going to live at a vocal eight and then we're going to jump to like an 11 by the time the last chorus is done. Because like she, she's just like whipping out all kinds of notes that she doesn't whip out, at least in her recorded material, a lot. Like she, there are examples of times she hasn't, but she doesn't jump up there with frequency. Although she's been doing it a lot more over the last like three, four years, especially a lot. She's been accessing her upper head voice a lot more. Um, and I love to hear it, love to hear it. Um, yeah, it's fun, it's fun. It's not my favorite Christmas song from her. It's not my favorite Christmas song. Wrapped in Red is still top of my list. Um, that 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 is just my song, that's my vibe, that's my energy, blah, blah, blah. Um, but this one was good. I feel like um, it didn't have as much like vocal dynamic variety as I like hearing from her so like it felt a lot of just like chest belt chest belt head belt chest belt. like there was just a lot of just like very full voice all the time which there's nothing wrong with that because she's got a beautiful full voice but like I like I like when she takes me on a vocal journey. I like it when there is this like playing between the registers and you know this nice softness in her chest voice and then the big beltiness and you know the softness in the head voice, beautiful powdery soft falsetto and you know I li I like playing in her different registers and this different vocal dynamics. That, so I didn't get a whole lot of that in this song. This felt like just a lot of full voice full voice all the time. There were some instances of you know some like flips into her head voice and you know flips and falsetto and whatnot but like for the most part it felt all kind of just like one note when it comes to like the power and the volume that she was giving versus um take me on this nice like dynamic journey but that being said it was still great it was still great it still sounded great but like it just it wasn't the most exciting thing to listen to after a while it became kind of predictable um but again it still sounds fantastic um, and she's put out a lot of Christmas music. She's put out so much Christmas music. So it's, it gets hard to compete with yourself when you've put out so much amazing Christmas music. But Wrapped in Red will still be. That, that, that's, my, that's my number one, Wrapped in Red. The song, not the album. Although the album as well. But the song, Wrapped in Red, that's my song. That's my song. It, it's still in top spot for me. Um, I don't know if she's going to put out another Christmas song that's going to outdo Wrapped in Red at any point in time. But Wrapped in Red, that's my that's my jam. Um, but yeah, this was great. This was great. Love, love, love. Again, interesting timing at the end of September to put out. Maybe it's an introduction to another Christmas album, although I feel like it's too soon from when her last Christmas album came out. Um, yeah, interesting timing to put out a Christmas track. I shan't lie. I shan't lie. Um, but I am going to just manifest and believe that her record label knows what they're doing. I don't understand the decision, but I'm I'm not the record executive, so it's maybe it's not my decision to understand. But I hope for nothing but good things for the song. I hope it gains traction between now and Christmas. And I hope, you know, Christmas time we'll hear it on the radio just like we do Wrapped in Red and Underneath the Tree and Christmas Isn't Cancelled, you know, all those staples, staple Chris Kelly Clarkson Christmas songs. Um, yeah, so I'll have to wait and see where the things and things go, but I liked it. It's fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all my shenanigans get posted. Anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah.